Hello, hurrah. I'm Cindy Hawkes-White, your 2020 Chairman of the Board. I know it's hard to think about hurrah's celebration of the year, Circle of Excellence, when it's hotter than heck outside, but it will be here before you know it, and the application period even sooner than that. Much planning goes into the Circle of Excellence, and I mean beyond what you see at the party itself. I'm talking about the criteria and guidelines, of course. So many of our hurrah realtors work hard towards the goal the whole year. So I'd like to tell you about the new criteria for 2020 as you planned throughout the rest of the year. We'll be able to find this information at hurrah.com and I'll share that link for you with this video. And if you ever worked towards a circle of excellence accolade, take this as my invitation and challenge to do so now. To begin, let's talk about changes to the three levels for individual resale criteria. They are bronze. The requirement for 2020 is 100,000 GCI or 23 units. In 2019, it was 90,000 or 21 units. Silver category. The requirement for 2020 is 150,000 GCI or 36 units. In 2019, it was 135,000 or 32 units. Gold level. The requirement for 2020 is 220,000 GCI or 46 units. In 2019, it was 180,000 or 42 units. Teams have also undergone a major update. The definition of a team for Circle of Excellence now matches the current DPOR legislation. The definition of a team is designed as two or more individuals who work together as a unit within the same real estate firm who represent themselves to the general public working together as a unit and also designate themselves by a fictitious team name. It's important to note that all three elements above must be met in order for an entity to be considered a team and to be required to be registered. Additionally, teams must obtain a business entity depot salesperson's license from the real estate board before transacting real estate business as a team name. Prior to applying to the real estate board for a business entity salesperson's license, there must be a formal business entity established with the State Corporation Commission. Make sure you consult with the appropriate resources or attorneys regarding setting up a business entity, the form it should take, and how to file it, and so on. Also, team names on Circle Excellence applications must be the same name that is registered with DPOR on your license. There is more with this in regard to teams, so make sure you visit the COE page at hurrah.com. I know, I know, it's a lot to take in, so it's important to visit the page often. Then you can visit it and keep track towards your goals of earning your Circle of Excellence Award. Lastly, I want to thank our hardworking Circle of Excellence Criteria and Interpretations Committee for working behind the scenes to make sure that your Circle of Excellence is just that excellent. Thank you so much for all that you do. I look forward to seeing lots of faces and lots and lots of new faces when Hurrah celebrates its Circle of Excellence in March of 2021. <laughs> will you be one of them? I'm confident you will. You want to know why? Because realtors are planners. Realtors are achievers. Realtors go for the gold. After all, that's who we are. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I hope to see you at COE, if not sooner. Have a great week.